Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. This is part two of two, and we're going to do some recapping as a reminder from yesterday. Lady Justice, Liberty Press, out here with a people, and we see Wendover Police. We've got gang activity. Not here with the people. This is unit number. This is um, five two two six nine four. It's Utah Wendover Police, City of Wendover. Utah. Backtracking a bit, part two of two. Enjoy. Right, like, you know what I mean, trying to stop me from falling. Oh, yeah, right, sometimes citizens do that. They didn't take an oath, so I don't expect a lot of them to press me. I don't go, like, maybe be too famous or anything, because they're just citizens, they didn't take an oath. You got something to do? Oh, yeah, sure. Have you ever had cops, like, try and arrest you for something? Uh, well, they never say it's for film, but like, I mean, they always try and make up other excuses, you know, it's, it's, it's not, uh, you no, know, like, they'll say interference or obstruction, you know, uh, I've heard them try and say trespassing before, you know, even on sidewalks, which is so ridiculous, <laughs> you know, yeah, I see a lot of those videos and, like, it pisses me off because the cops should know, the cops should know. I mean, I, you guys are welcome to film me sitting in my car. It's not going to be very eventful. I'm not breaking the law. It's I'm eventful. I'm not going to make you stop me. You know, well, you got out and talked to us. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of a lot of times it's easy to say, oh, no, don't stop. He's just talking to that lady, right? But we stop because that's a chance to communicate. And that bridges the gap. You know? And I'm glad we got out. That's awesome. What was your first name? Oh, uh, well, I'm one of the people, and it's not nice to call me, to call people names or get right back What can I call, call you, sir? Well, you can't call me. Can I'm one of the people. No, no, that's a title. Right, have you ever heard, you know, I it's, it's, it's my religion. Right, I don't believe in names. I, I'm being genuine. Sincere. But persons do use names, and names are more personable. And if you want to get personal with somebody, you need to get a name. But think of all the things that you can do with the required name. Right? I can't do any of those things because I don't use them. Right? So that means that I can't get a driver's license. I can't get on a plane. I can't um, go get a job. I can't get food stamps or, or uh, stimulus or um, anything that requires a name. I can't do because it's against my religion. Right? But, you know, I don't have a right to um, get on a plane. Uh, for fun. Huh? You for fun. Oh, well, everything I do is fun. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I just, I just press on them, you know? People press, right, and they assemble, they legion, and they amble, you know, they secure the blessings of liberty to themselves and their posterity. I like camping. You like camping? Is there a good spot in here? I noticed this is the end of the road down there, past the motels. There's like a cave on the left. It looked like it opened up and it was like all wide open. 
Am I pointing the right way? Is yes, that you talk. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's, that's the right yes. way. There's not a cave over there. There's just like a Around the corner there is. It might, I don't know. It's like a little cave. I don't know how far back it goes. I didn't well, know it appeared to be a... It looked yeah. like a nice wilderness I know area. like in this area, is desert, so it's crappy camping. Uh-huh. When I go to what? That's the way. Oh, okay. Into the mountains and stuff. Oh, so there's... You have the five state parks in, uh, in Utah. You've been to all of them? No. No. Uh, I haven't been to the ones. I haven't been to a lot of them. They're supposedly pretty nice. Yeah, I haven't been to them But I do like to travel in outdoors. For sure. Me too, man. You like to fish? I do. Yeah? Fresh water? Yeah, at all water? Fresh water. Yeah. I've never been to the ocean. Oh, yeah? I kind of smack dab in the middle of all three of those. Huh? One day I'll make it. Yeah, the ocean. Which one? Money one. You never dreamed about going to one in particular? No. I usually go, if I go anywhere, I go to the east. East? If I, I haven't even really been to California. Let's go that way. Oh, you always go west? You always go east. Oh, every time you go somewhere, you go east. But you've never gone west. Yeah, you're, we're in Nevada. No, we're in Utah, but almost Nevada, so. You'd almost make it to California. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. It's a geography lesson today, guys. You've never gone north to like Idaho or Montana? I lived in North Dakota, actually. For Did you? Four years, almost four years. Man, that's like when you moved, half the population left. <laughs> North Dakota, what did you do up there? Uh, yeah, I worked in the oil fields. Oh, that's what everybody's doing is building there now. Um, it was. I went in 2012. I was there for three years, and then I took a crash. I left right before the crash happened. I came back home. Oh, yeah. I made a lot of money. You yeah. became an officer. Yeah, I made a decent money out there. It's a good experience. Well, what made you decide to be an officer? Uh, my late wife actually talked me into it. She wanted to be, she wanted to work in the jail. I was like, man, that would suck. And I was like, oh, it'd be cool to be a cop, though. She kind of pushed me into doing it. She pushed me your late wife? Yeah, she died. She didn't die in the movie No. Every day, man. it's rough. Are you guys married? No. Together? No, I can't do that without a man. She could. See, she's a person. She could be. You guys care about each other, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. 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 I hope that you guys are always together and nothing happens to one of you guys and you guys get separated. It sucks. I've never died. <laughs> Not <laughs> yeah. even one time, but I hope you don't. I've heard it was close, though. Maybe. Yeah, I'm really, really old in the sleep. Yeah, like everyone should. Yeah. I just uh, put one foot in front of the other and go forward. Live in the present. Yep. Awesome. Let right. the future bring, because you never know. You know, appreciate when uh, someone's there. That way you don't miss them when they're gone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I take a lot of that stuff for granted. So, it's too late, you know? Yeah. What time do you get off, so? Uh, later tonight. You guys were 12? Yeah, we're 10s. 10s, we got before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good at math. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what time did I check on? Six. <laughs> you already told me. Yeah. I'm paying attention. Interrogation 101, Giles, <laughs> come on. <laughs> we do the same thing, you know. The press and the, uh, the police. Can I get your YouTube channel? Uh, it's Press On. Huh? Press On. Press On. Yeah. You'll see my hair. I have about 16,000 subscribers. Oh. Subscribe. Oh. Sweet. Yeah. The people will, will love you. Awesome. You are very personal. I'll be on there? 
Absolutely, eventually. Eventually. Uh, it's not going to be until like close to Christmas time because the court of public opinion is really backed up. Um, it's a lot like the court of law. You know, it's really backed up. It takes a long time for the wheels of justice to spin. But they do turn, right? And the people will judge you. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I show every video. You know, because I don't want to get the idea that like they're all protests. Yeah. They're not all protests. Most of them are, are conversations. And, uh, as they should be. You know, as they I should mean, be. it doesn't always start off pleasant because, you know, I can see it from an officer's point of view. They don't know who's coming. Yeah. They don't know if they're involved, if that was their friend, like the person in the car just called their friends to come up. They don't know. So I expect you to be on guard, right? I don't expect you to come up and start pushing me around, right? Or telling me where to go. Yeah. But there's a line in between. I don't expect an officer to be like, hey. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like every time somebody walks up with a camera, you know, but if, if we can work through it and uh, communicate, I'd be I'd be happy. You know, but, but this wasn't a stop. Your lights are on. No. And, uh, and I'm glad you got out. Park. You're not worried about walking away or anything. Yeah, it's got a nice wide. Yep. Yeah, you're yeah. on the shoulder. Officers do. I mean, because the numbers say if you pull over tourists, they're just going to pay and not fight it. So a lot of departments, I mean, they take the path of least resistance, you know. And if um, nobody's um, fighting it, then um, officers get the idea that they're, they're okay. They're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. But I always tell people, you have the right. You have a privilege. Yeah, you have the right to argue in the court of public opinion. The people do. But uh, persons have a privilege, commonly referred to as a right, to uh, have due process. But due process is a, is a punishment. It's not even good. Um, when you get your due, when you get processed, it's not fun. No. Right? No, it's not fun. You get put through the process. Right? And a uh, due process or a process of due. Yeah, the Sixth Amendment is the only right for persons 
few people have the rights. That person supposedly has a right. Uh, it's not a right. That, that person has a right. It doesn't say due process. I, I forget. Oh, I have the Constitution. Do you have one? No? Oh, man. You want to hold this for me? Let me look up the Sixth Amendment. Right to persons? Well, it says there is a right for a person to see it. Can you see in the screen what it is? In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial. So, actually, the accused supposedly has a right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been... See all these qualifiers? That's how you know it's not a right. It's a privilege. See, rights are very clear. Right? They say, um... Yeah, the right of... What does it say? Oh, the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. See, there's no qualifiers. See what I'm saying? But like in the Fourth Amendment, see the right of the people to be secure. And then something changes. You see, I have that line there. Because when you go in there, right, um, things change. And once you get past this point, then you're in your person. Houses, papers, and effects. And then you have all these qualifiers, and then you have to be reasonable. But before this point, the people have the right to be secure, but they don't go in their persons, right? And see, if you're using a name, that's a persona, right? And you're something, you're claiming to be something other than what you are, right? So whether you're a police officer or a firefighter or a mom or a dad, you notice that these uh, identifiers change throughout the day. And so one minute you're a police officer, the next minute you're a father, the next minute you're a friend, and then, you know, you're just um, somebody doing your job, right? So like whatever identifier fits the conversation, you can switch. But the people don't get to switch, right? They don't have those personas. They're just always people, right? And there's no other word for people. But, you know what I mean? And they have the rights. And Arby's has the needs. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. You go to Arby's? There's an Arby's here in town. Yep. You go there? Uh, occasionally, yeah. Yeah? You like them? They're pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Is there open late night? Um, around here... They close around 10 or 11. Did you go to like the Prospector Cat? Oh, wait, that's in Nevada. I mean, you go over there to eat, right? At night? Do you work at night, huh? The Prospector at the Red Garter? Is that the casino? Yeah. Prospector Cafe? Yeah, I've been there. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. They have a, you can get an omelet, ham and cheese omelet, and a milk, and it was like $9. Really? That was amazing. <laughs> it's like such a good deal. This yeah. town has a lot of good deals. I like this thing. Yeah, the pizza is ten dollars. Actually, ten dollar three topping large. Small town, simple life. Small town, simple life. Well, like North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah, but not quite. More yeah. small town in North Dakota. I live in Bismarck. So. Oh, Bismarck. Uh, yeah, the second. They have a Walmart there. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> they have like two in the whole state. The ones in Bismarck. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we all got negative sixty one time. Negative 60. Oh, yeah. Pretty cold. Yeah. When it's that cold, you can't just come out and start your car. No. Because your belts are frozen. So if you start your car, your belt will kick off and then you have to like get a torch and warm up everything under there. Put the belt back on. You're it's pretty rough out there, man. Sweating like a stuck pig out here, man. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. It's not coming from that climate. Oh, oh, you're from here? Yeah, I'm from Salt Lake. Oh, I thought, okay, because if you were from North Dakota and then you're here, it'd be hard to acclimate to that kind of thing. It's crazy how body acclimates. When it was zero degrees in North Dakota, it was warm. Like, we were outside, like, doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, it felt warm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all zero degrees here. Right. <laughs> and it does get cold here, right? Yeah. It's pretty cold. It doesn't drop below zero. Oh, it doesn't? But that's cold. Yeah. Zero. 
I mean, it'll be warm in the day and then drop to... Um, it's not like the desert has a question. Right now it drops a lot. Uh, but in the winter, I mean... Yeah, I'd say like around 10 degrees. That's colder than a well digger's ass in Alaska, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get back in the car where they got AC. No problem. All right. Not change, guys. All right. It's very nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. You too. Keep your you guys be out. safe. Take care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Press on. Press on. Press on, bro. Press on. Yeah, yeah. I'll shine that light of liberty. Be right. Right. No. <laughs>